What is up guys and in this video you already know what it is. It's another broke on a budget episode series where I take one camera, one lens, and show you guys what you can do with it. I did this lens before, but I'm gonna be shooting in 4K video. And you're wondering how? Well, I'm using the Nikon F to Z adapter on my Nikon Z50. I'll be shooting and doing stills on this camera. Since you guys were like, hey, enough yapping, we want more actual real test footage. I'm gonna show you guys real test footage. I did have a model booked for this, but she canceled last minute. So now I'm gonna go there by myself, show you guys real world test and results of what you can actually do with the 17 to 50 Sigma 2.8 lens. Weather forecast right now, we're looking perfect because it's a cloudy, which is perfect for videos, which is perfect for videos and stills. So I'm gonna go right now and shoot you guys on a broke, on a budget. My name is Peter, you're watching a Broke Visionary Collective. Stay tuned, I'll be bringing this guy right here. As you guys can already see, F to Z mount. So I'm using a legacy lens with a newer mirrorless body. Let's get this show on the road, guys. All right, we made it here at the park and I got a model coming through with the clutch. So I'm actually gonna be filming with a talent with my 17 to 50 kit lens. And then this is what the weather looks like right now. Completely fine. We're looking at overcast, a little bit of gloom, which is actually perfect for shooting. I'm gonna set up my camera and then we'll see how this turns out, man. Let's get the show on the road, guys. So this video, I'm always gonna cheat a little bit since the Sigma is not native glass with the Z50. I decided to use the AK2000 to give it a little more cinematic because you're better off with a cinematic video with a gimbal. If you're wondering, the Z50 does not have IBIS, but this lens itself does have VR. Obviously gonna turn that on. Gonna be shooting at 17. Can't really extend and uh, get some decent test footage videos primarily with couple shots in between. Yeah, we're good to go. Right now, I'm at 1 over 50, 100 ISO, 7.1 aperture, autofocus, full servo. And VR on in my lens. No electronic VR, so I'm actually curious about how this autofocus is actually tracking my face in terms of having it at 17 as a vlog setup, but we'll see in post-production. So first thing I noticed with the recording instantly was a little hard time in terms of face tracking because it's not the native lens, but I think I was able to work with something. My only issue I had was filming in auto ISO, so I'm going to change that back to manual. And then now we're going to move to location number two, a little crowded right now, and uh, go somewhere a little where it's, we can move around a little bit more. And yeah, let's go guys. Okay, then I'm gonna get you to uh, walk, walk down and have a seat. Can I get you to take off the peacoat and then maybe like put it over, fold it and like kind of hold it. And then can I get you to put it on? So right now I'm gonna trekking, tapping your face, rolling and action.
Look up more? Yep. I'm gonna get you to come out here and then take off your coat, kind of like lay down as like a... With my coat? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, perfect. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> my bag and then we'll head over that way we'll go straight I'll just track you from behind but uh, don't worry this is just more not necessarily just test footage So now what I'm doing is I'm going to take it off the gimbal. I'm not going to be using video. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to see if I can get, try to replicate your photos. Cause so she sent me photos so I can reference. So I'm going to try to replicate it. If it looks horrible, I'll show be before and after. So now for the photos, what I can do is I can shoot with the shutter wide open, crank up my shutter speed. Get you to move a little back, like way. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Take a half step, yep, right there. Can you look at me? Yep. Look up. Eyes closed. So I'm gonna get you to maybe squat. In the middle? <laughs> yeah, and then okay. I'm gonna try to get that same pose. So you're gonna, same thing. I'm gonna get you to look up. Maybe go more deeper. So the, the purpose of what I'm trying to do, guys, is uh, so, so I get more depth in the video, I mean the photos, so there's more foreground. Is there any poop? Careful. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, careful, there's thorns. Are you, are you okay? Yep, just get down. Uh, uh, wait, sorry, uh, squat a little. I, I meant your, your head up, tilt up. You don't need to, to um, fully posture up. Right there, just hold that, smile, yep. Finger and thumb, I mean your thumb in your, yep. And then now I can get you to do the same squatting. Yes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be shooting through the flowers. Let's see, let's see if I can. Oh, these have thorns, oh shit. <laughs> I think that's a wrap. Thanks, Angel. So that, guys, I don't know how much talking I actually did, because uh, who knew holding a gimbal in addition to trying to film was uh, a little complicated when you don't have an assistant. <laughs> but my overall reviews which I used the F to Z mount with the Sigma 17 to 50 2.8 with the F to Z mount. So initial impressions was obviously you have the F to Z mount, so it's already gonna be as hard. It's, it's not gonna be good. Let's say it's, let's put it as it's it's not gonna be good as compared to your standard native lens if, if i use the kit lens with the z50 you're obviously going to get better autofocus but in terms of using the f to z mount you're already getting a lot better autofocus from my own experience in comparison 
to the D5200. I'll show a couple test shots and test photos. The only issues I did have was face tracking and because it has to go through the, the third adapter on top of it being a third party lens, you're going to have little issues of, you know, face tracking eye detection. For the most part, I'd say 80% accuracy when it comes to the photos that I took. Little issues when it comes from actually having shooting through the foreground. If there's a lot of objects in the front, I noticed I did have a little trouble, but eye detection did save me out. I'm probably going to be using manual focus if I were to use this lens at 2.8 shallow depth of field. As you can see, all the videos, except for the slow motion ones, I'm going to show little clips of having just 4K video with a neutral profile picture with a six, 17 to 50 Sigma lens. And as you see, 4K video, super crisp, little bit of auto focusing issues where I did have to tap the screen to make sure that the face detection was on my model's face. Shout outs to Angel again for being in the video. Really liked the photos that turned out and I'll show you guys right now as I'm talking through them and how they actually looked and All the slow motion shots I filmed at 120 frames per second. You're looking at the Z50 You you be the judge of where whether or not the actual Sigma you that you can actually use for your mirrorless cameras for your Z50 and if you want to check out the first edition of this part where I strictly used my D5200 with my Sigma 70-50, to check that out. Link in the description on a broke on a budget episode. And that, guys, was me using the Sigma 17.8, 17-50, 2.8 for Nikon. And I shot that with the F to Z adapter on my AK2000. Link in the description if you want to check all the videos out in the description. And here's a little montage, here's some photos, and hopefully this was inspiring for you guys to show what you're capable of with Nikon. And I had a lot of fun doing this, and yes, for future references, I'm using a gimbal is a lot tiring and you're trying to multitask where I'm trying to get a decent shot while still remembering, oh yeah, I'm making a YouTube video at the same time, but if you guys want more of these broke on a budget episodes, smash that thumbs up button. My name is Peter. If you watched this far, why don't you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, grab my free camera guide if you want to help me help you on your content creation journey. And you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.